What's up, y'all? It's your boy, What a Truth. I am going to show you how to make a t-shirt. This is, um, you, you have to have a few things to get started, but a vinyl cutter you can pick up for about 300 bucks. I have a Vinyl Express R Series 2. Shout out to my boy, Matt Adams. Muddy up, baby. You know how we do it. If you, uh, are interested in a Muddy Up shirt, there's back designs. This one, no paved roads. They're super dope. I'll link it in the description below. But I'm cutting on a Silhouette Cameo 4 today. Um, and I use Sure Cuts A Lot 5, which is the program. I haven't been able to download the Silhouette Cameo app or the program yet. So I just use Sure Cuts A Lot 5 because it works with the Silhouette and the Vinyl Express. So that's what I use. Um, I'm going to basically show you the whole thing through from cutting, weeding, putting it on a shirt. Um, today I'm just doing a Will the Truth logo in black on a Bella Canvas uh, like army green type shirt. This one right here. Um, I already have black loaded up on the cutting mat. And I'm just going to put it on that shirt because it's the only light color shirt that I have that will hold black. So this is not for an order or anything. This is just to uh, demonstrate. So what we're going to do is jump in the computer and uh we'll start there so let's go so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up sure cuts a lot five and um just takes a quick second then we're gonna go to new project shirt video just label it something easy and our mat size is 12 by 12 because that's what the the Cameo 4 uses. They have a plus which is 15 by 15 but this is the Cameo 4 12 by 12 and uh, units in inches and okay. So we have our board here. This is our mat. The gray area we do not want to put our image on. So we're gonna go up here to import and in this video we're using a PNG of my logo which is right here go to open and there it is so down here at the bottom right this will basically move it you can change the size and it actually keeps everything proportioned properly but what we want to do is because we can open up as big as we can and it's we got all this blank area down here and I want this logo to be as big as I can on this mat so we're gonna go to transform and scale it so right here it's got 14.491 and the height is 11.593 I don't want to keep proportions and I'm gonna hit OK so now when I grab this arrow these two arrows at the bottom right I can scale it to a different size but if I hold down shift while using this arrow, it keeps it proportioned how I had it. So if you had it small like this from the get go and you hold down shift, it's going to keep it proportioned. You can't move up. It will not change from what you had it at. But what I want to do is I want to set it over here in the corner about where I want it. And I'm going to bring it down to about right there. And then we'll move it up a little bit. We want to utilize this mat. So about right there. I want to use all the vinyl I can on this 12 by 12 mat. So that looks good. And uh, I just use alt or option and use my scroll wheel on my mouse to make it bigger, or smaller. Um, so there we go. We're going to hit preview and it's going to show us our cut lines and that looks good to me. So show cut lines. That's what we want to make sure is checked. The rest of it really doesn't matter in this case. So we'll hit done. All right. Now here's the biggest thing you have to watch out for when doing shirts. You want to flip this image. You want it backwards. Then you just want to move it again so it's in the right spot. All right. So now that you have it upside down with the heat transfer, once you cut it out, you're going to flip the image over onto the t-shirt. So that's why you have to make sure it's flipped. If you're doing decals, then you can cut it uh, the right way. You don't have to flip it. So now we're going to 
highlight it so click it see if you click off it there's no box around it when you click it there'll be a box around it right here and you can see that it is in fact highlighted or you can go over here and you can see that it's highlighted and if you have multiple pieces then you can hold down shift and then highlight them all but right there it is highlighted go to cutter we have the cameo 4 so that's the model it's usb connected we can do a test connection if we want to which will let you know that the computer is talking to the cameo 4 all right i heard it now in the cut mode i don't know what this is i just left that by itself uh, left that alone use cutting mat yes presets there's different presets foil fabric copy paper cardstock stencil but we're going to use vinyl and then blade auto blade because the cameo 4 has an auto blade which sets the depth of the cutting blade by itself so that is super awesome i uh the other vinyl cutter i have does not you have to set it and then uh play around with the pressure and stuff like that but this is pretty much um, I've cut with the pressure and speed on the preset and it works great so we'll leave that alone and we're gonna hit cut alright guys so this is the silhouette cameo 4 this is the cutting mat I just have the vinyl stuck down to it I cut a 12 by 12 and you can see 0 to 12 0 to 12 so it has an arrow right here right in front and you'll want to line it up there's a line right here where you want to line the mat up with all right so you'll line it up right here on this left side arrow and just push it up against the rollers and there's a button right here the in, the up arrow which is the load button you'll tap it once and then you'll hit cut on the computer And that's basically it. Wait for it to get done cutting, and then uh, we'll go to the weeding table. All right, so now we're going to weed this out. Um, I use a pair of tweezers that have a curved edge like this, and also you can use a hook. This one has, sorry, this one has a hook, and then on the other end, I don't use this much. I use the tweezers more than anything, but basically. We'll just use these tweezers and uh, while I'm weeding, I like to leave it on the actual cutting mat and then uh, just start peeling up one side. And depending on what you're doing, some of it takes quite a while depending on you know how tedious your uh, whatever you cut is but this one's pretty simple just want to peel it nice and slow see this one's pretty easy just because it is all the cuts are fairly big and it's pretty easy to uh, do this so yep I'm gonna finish weeding this out and then we'll be right back that's what it looks like looks good to me so now we're gonna pull it off of the mat and that's what we have always like to double check it make sure because if you look see sometimes little pieces like inside of that E are overlooked but um, yeah that looks good so we're gonna go over to the heat press all right, so now we're gonna press the shirt. I have my heat press right here, which uh, I'll zoom in. Um, we have it set at 305 degrees, and we're gonna do a 15 second medium press. It calls for that on the actual instructions on the Caesar Easy Weed heat transfer vinyl, so it'll tell you that. But I like it with my with this heat press that I have. It works perfect at that. Sometimes you might have to play around with it, but um, it seems to work for this heat press. So. Uh, Let's uh, dive in a little bit closer and uh, show you how everything goes. All right, so we just have a swing out heat press. It is set to 305. Let's see if we can see that a little bit better. 305. 
on a 15 second press so all right so basically we'll swing this out the way we can pull this tray out a little bit and uh, get the shirt and if you hold it right here right where the seam is on both sides you just kind of wave it out and I put the collar I put the collar right over the edge and then you'll want to check to make sure it's even just got to get the wrinkles out so one just try to get these little wrinkles out and then I basically just hold it like this these seams underneath the arms you can hold it there and uh, kind of pull it down just to make sure that it's it's even so you want this and then first thing you want to do is you want to do like a pre-press so you can get get any moisture out about four about three three seconds doesn't take very long all right swing that out of the way Pull it out, got a flat shirt, nice and warm. Then we'll take our heat transfer. See, this is the side we peeled it, and that's why you gotta cut it backwards, or upside down. And then um, you just go ahead and place it on there. Four finger rule, rule of thumb, you can just go off of this seam, four fingers down. So we'll pull it down a little bit. About right there, looks good. And then we'll take you can use this ruler and want to measure basically from the outside. So on this one we have about two inches, and on this one right at two inches. So that's a good centered. And then um We'll push it forward. I always use these. You don't have to, but I like to do them. So place that on there like so. Bring this around. And then it has a timer. Once the timer beeps, I usually wait just about a second or two after it beeps. So it has reached its time, 15, and lift it. This mat usually gets stuck on there. Let's pull that off. And this is a hot peel or cold peel. So we'll just peel it nice and slow. And there we go. So that's what it looks like. It, uh, I like these. I mean, you can barely feel this on there. It feels good. This this is actually the first um, shirt that I've actually pressed since we got the Caesar Easy Weed vinyl. Man, it looks solid too. Feels really good. Just really flush. Looks good. So, yep, this is a Bella Canvas t-shirt. Uh, it doesn't really say, like, the model number. I guess I don't have. It's a 52% cotton, 48% polyester. These are, these are comfortable shirts, just in general. That's why I order a couple of these. I have a gray one as well that I did with some different vinyl. But this was incredible. Super easy to weed. I had some... Um, Amazon vinyl. I can't even remember the name of it. I looked on YouTube. I couldn't find any <clears throat> Any reviews on it. Yeah, so the Amazon e, uh, the Amazon heat transfer vinyl. I would not recommend it I think it was it was I something and I, I can't remember but it was garbage. So Definitely a good experience with the Caesar easy weed um, heat transfer vinyl I ordered it from heatpressnation.com uh, along with some decal vinyl and it got here pretty quick, even with the 
the COVID-19 stuff going on. And that was, that was my first experience using that. And damn, it cuts easy. It's super easy to weed. Um, basically all around, like I love it. I love the way it feels on the shirt. So with all that being said, that is how I make shirts. I'm a rapper. Um, so I make my own merch now. Uh, I used to buy it, but it, it gets hard, difficult when you have to depend on other people. So it's just a lot easier to, um, it's just a lot easier to get done when you do it yourself. And I get like a sense of pride knowing that I made the merch that my fans are buying. So that's super cool to me. Um, I will link heatpressnation.com down in the description. I don't make any money off of them. I um, also wanted to give a huge shout out to a couple people on YouTube that made all this possible for me. Big Brando, Stan Banks, uh, Flex McKenzie, and um, Reyes the Entrepreneur. They all have so much information there for free on YouTube. It's insane. So big shout out to all of them. Go follow their YouTubes. Look them up. Super dope guys to just watch. Um, Big Brando goes live on his uh, YouTube channel sometimes. And if you have any questions, I've even asked some questions before and he responded right there. So that was super cool. Um, basically, that's it for this video. I appreciate you guys. If you like this, make sure you subscribe. Um, check out some of my music and my previous videos. Um, I have all kinds of just random videos on my YouTube. So check them out. Show some love. I appreciate everybody and peace out.